Yo, what's up with y'all? It's Key Major, and I'm back with another video for y'all today. Tell me to show you guys how to make some ethnic melodies for future. Before we get into the video, if you guys did enjoy and learn something new, make sure you guys leave a like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell so you don't miss any videos. It's important you guys hit that bell because I'm going to be back with uploading videos every week and I'm going to start uploading more sample packs. I got a very, very special sample pack coming real soon. So I really do not want you guys to miss out. And lastly, go down to the description and follow me on Instagram. I post a lot over there and we're growing really, really quick. I don't want any of you guys to miss out on there either. So make sure you guys go follow me over there but without further ado let's get straight to the video so for this melody i started off with an analog lab i went inside of loophole and i picked the preset called flutes and i played this out very very simple catchy repetitive pattern it's just the root note playing over and over d and I just raised it an octave up and then I just have these notes playing in between. I took this, copied it over and I just raised the E to F and then I basically have this pattern playing for the uh, entire melody. So for the effects, I first added some stair separation then I added halftime, just turned it down to 47%, kind of giving it like a whole nother layer. Ambience reverb, I uh, just turned this down to like 23. Then I added portal. This is what kind of gave the melody a whole like new feel and kind of gave it like some like ear candy in the background. I went into Pilgrim's Portal Bank and I went to the water stream preset. First off this bank is like it's my go-to bank right now for portal it has things to like slightly change up in melodies but also has like some effects that like really could help you create like a whole new feel i personally went with the water stream preset it kind of added like some little particles in the back but this bank's completely fire make sure you guys go check out pilgrim on instagram and get this bank because it's too crazy then i added pancake on here i just went to the one half so it was a lot faster i turned the mix knob down to like 32 percent then i added an eq on here i just took down the lows and i lowered some of the highs because a little harsh then after that i added fo keys I just added the uh, classic low piano bass note that everyone loves and uses. Pretty self-explanatory, it's just a root note playing over and over. For the effects, first I added Stereo Shaper and I went to the this preset right here, Stereoize 3. For the reverb, I just turned the separation knob all the way to the left and I messed with the room right here. And then I went to the stock EQ down here and I took down all the lows. A lot, a lot of the sounds are like pan to the left and some are pan to the right. Panning uh, certain sounds to the left, certain sounds to the right. Just panning your sounds in general makes, kind of gives it its own little pocket and its own little room in the uh, sample and just makes your sample sound like wide and full. Then after that, I added this like string phrase from Splice. The original sample sounds like this. And also I got this from Splice and I went to the Middle East Central Strings and I went down here to Loops, the 90 BPM, and then I selected this one right here. First thing I did was I reversed it and then I liked this little like section right here. I like that, so I just copied it. Uh, I sliced it and I just copied it for the entire pattern. After that, I exported this, and then for the second half, I just pitched it an octave up. For the effects, I added ambience reverb just so it wasn't as dry. And then I added the first EQ, just takes down all the lows, and I raised the highs a tiny bit. And then the second EQ is just taking out more lows and even some of the mid. And then same down here, just taking out more lows. And then for the second one that I copied and I raised an octave up, for this one, I added a phaser on here and I turned it to like 50%, and then more reverb on this one and then lastly i just add this little one shot right here this is from uh, Cloud and DB's uh, Cyber Multi Kit. I just went to the effects and I used the Frank's laser. And that was basically it. I came up with this arrangement, laid out the stems, and then uh, before I exported it, I went to the master and I put an EQ. I just lowered some of the mids, raised the highs, and lowered some of the lows, just kind of helping the melody sound more crisp and clean. And then I exported it and then I didn't even pitch it. That's it. And then that's how the final sample sounds.
But yeah, man, that's really it for the whole video. If you guys did enjoy and learn something new, make sure you guys leave a like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell so you don't miss any more videos. Like I mentioned in the beginning, back on my YouTube grind, I'm gonna start uploading tutorials every week and I'm gonna start uploading more sample packs. Like I said, I got a real special one coming real soon, different from any of the ones I've done in the past. Make sure you guys hit the bell and stay tuned. I do not want you guys to miss out. And I don't want you guys to miss out on my Instagram either. Growing really quick over there. Just make sure you guys follow me over there. So, man, that's it for the whole video and I'll see you on the next one.